My dear fellow galactic citizens, I have never been a very political man and even a year ago the possibility that I do now stand here and speak to you was almost zero. Like many of you out there in the bright places of human culture and those of you out there in the darkest places, I have been driven by the belief that this galaxy has to offer so much to me and to all of us if we just stretch out our hand and try to reach the better future. I stretched my hand to distant stars no one had seen before, always driven by the will to learn. I have been taught by my parents that if you aim for the stars you can change something. And this belief is not only my motivation but the one for so many of us, wherever we may live. Let's face it, no matter in which rank we are born or which color our skin has, we all share the same fate, the fate of mortality. And we all share the same dream of living up to the best we can. Living and fighting for this dream has always been the strength of mankind. From the earliest days on prehistoric earth where our ancestors had to fight the wilderness to survive, over the early societies like old Greece where ideas were discussed for the greater good, up to our societies today we stretch out our hands towards the future. We stretch them out towards knowledge and we also stretch them out to have a better life than those who were before. This bright flame of hope led our way through the millennia. But if there is a bright light, there is also a shadow. We won't need to dig deep in our memories to know that the shadow is not empty. We won't need to dig deep in our memories to know that the shadow is full of evil. Evil entities that try to use mankind and its power for their own selfish goals. The events of past months have shown that again and again. I and so many other free pilots have seen, have witnessed that evil is still strong and buried deep within our modern galaxy. We have been to mysterious regions called the Formadine Rift, the Conflux and Hawking's Gap. We have seen the settlements and we have witnessed the fate of unnamed human beings. The finding of the Zuara revealed not only its own fate, but also the one of the people on all the other missions. We had to realize that they were not only tricked, but murdered just to cover up possible traces. This makes me angry because in the modern galaxy with all the possibilities we have this furtiveness should have been wiped out already. But what gives me hope is the knowledge that so many people think the way I do. And hope is what we need now. Because without hope we are doomed and without hope the grey men win. This hope is not just present because I know what power lies in the hands of those who are willing to fight for the truth. But it is also present because of a former member of the Imperial Senate and her associates. A great revelation lies ahead of us. A revelation that could possibly change the fate of humanity for decades. Of course, the Grey Men do everything they can to silence them. They don't want us, the people, to know the truth of what they're hiding in the dark. But the truth has always been strong and those who choose to stand up and fight and defend it are a force which must not be underestimated. My brothers and sisters, let us all be part of this force who wants to know the true happenings. Let us all be part of a great alliance to give Salome a voice. Let us all stand up and fight for her and for our own freedom and for those who will follow. 
even if we don't return, our sacrifice will be righteous. I hope to see all three pilots out in 46 Eridani when history will be written. Let us all be part of this story. Thank you for your time.